All right, Happy, Happy, Happy by Phil Robertson. My Life and Legacy as the Duck Commander. This was the first book. Everybody that uh, knows Phil Robertson obviously watched Duck Dynasty. Here's the crew on the back. Let's see if we get that. To... There you go. That's the group. These guys uh, are the stars of Duck Dynasty. This book came at a good time. This is Phil Robertson's first book, <clears throat> published in 2013. He's a convert uh, to Christianity, you know, from a sin-filled past uh, up to 28 years old. He was the quarterback for Louisiana Tech before uh, he was starting ahead of Terry Bradshaw, who became the legendary NFL quarterback. So Phil had a lot of talent when it came to sports and uh, decided to choose a life of duck calls after college football where he would manufacture and live on the side of the Wachita River, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, and fish until he could develop his duck call. And uh, this is a great read. If you are a fan of the show, you're going to love this book. Uh, it's 14 Rules for, for Living from Phil. Very scripture-based. It's the perfect balance of his background uh, stories, so coming up as a child versus like... Um, Little bit of t a little bit of the behind the scenes of the TV show, but not too much. A little bit of his childhood and background, but not too much in college and his life story. And then just enough of like life skills, uh, life knowledge, scripture, you know, coming to Christianity, his journey preaching, um, and all the different little areas of his life. He, he just gives a nice balance of all. It's not a book about his life. It's not a book about the TV show. It's not a book about his business, although it's uh, also about that. It's just great. It's a really good, quick read. Um, uh, down to earth read. If you, if you are reading this book, then you're probably uh, either interested in the show or are interested and curious about the, the Christianity as a faith, and so you're reading it to, to learn more. But um, yeah, it was so down to earth. I mean, he he really talks about principles that uh, don't change through time. You know, knowing how to do things. He grew up on a farm, knowing uh, how to cook knowing how to hunt and provide for yourself uh, in, a, in this modern world. And he kind of talks about the, the weaknesses in our modern world now compared to the strengths that um, people used to have. And uh, so anyway, simplify your life, rule number one. Rule number two, don't let your grandkids grow up to be nerds. Learn to cook. Don't try to figure out women. That was a fun chapter. Always wear shoes. Put the bottle down. Buy a house near water. Never sell yourself short. It's cheaper to hire your relatives. If you're going to do something, do it right. Uh, learn to forgive, share God's word, and read the Bible. And he is a man of principle. This guy will be preaching uh, the, the gospel of Jesus Christ until he's gone. And it's the coolest story to me because he was such a, uh antithesis to that for the beginning of his life. And he's also a strong guy, and he's been successful. And so he, uh, he's, he comes from a valid uh, the voice, uh, this Christianity that he's um, preaching. And so uh, he gives it validity by being who he is and, and how he treats and how he has treated people for 40 years. Um, I mean, just really good, really good stuff. You're going to enjoy this book if you're uh, interested in the Christian faith, interested in the show. Also, he talks about his kids and their upbringing and, and, uh, and some of the things he did right, some of the things he did wrong. And uh, some of the stories of Jep, who uh, who battled uh, a drug addiction for a period of time, and uh, and talks about all that, and and of course Al, the oldest, and talks about uh, how he struggled with some things. So it's uh, it's really great, and uh, talks about his family and their journey and living with his parents on the on the land. I mean, it's just so so great. Uh, so check it out. Happy, happy, happy. My life and legacy is the Duck Commander. I will keep this book because it's a great, it's just how you write a, a life, uh, I wouldn't want to say memoir because he had help, but I mean, he, he's kind of writing it from his voice and this is how you do it. You, you don't go heavy on business. You don't go heavy on personal life. You don't go heavy on TV show. You just balance everything nice and then have some wisdom in there too. And he did that. So I'm not surprised. Not surprised he wrote a great book. Happy, happy, happy by Phil Robertson, my life and legacy as the duck commander.